Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to do a drop test, also known as a measured dump on an XDS. Before we get into this process, we need to go over some important things. We recommend using at least two people for this job. You'll need the appropriate personal protective equipment. That includes, but is not limited to, eye protection, safety gloves, and steel-toed footwear. You'll also need a method to weigh a large amount of salt, sand, or similar material. That includes, but is not limited to, a shovel, bucket, and bathroom scale combination, a truck scale, or a forklift scale. To run a drop test, your auger and spinner must be trimmed. If you do not know what this means, notify our tech support team and they will tell you what you need to do. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. When you start your vehicle, your XDS should be on and showing the home screen. To do a drop test, we need to log in under the technician user level. To do that, first tap the right hand side of the screen where it says touch to open. Tap on Menu. Tap on User Level. Select Technician from the drop down menu. Refer to your supervisor for your technician level password. My device is at factory default, so the password has not been set up yet. Tap OK. Next, Tap on Configuration. Select Feeder Setup. Tap on Control Values. Tap on Measured Dump. First, we will cover the closed loop drop test. If your measured dump screen looks different, it is because you probably have an open loop system. In that case, skip this part of the video to the section about open loop systems. Engaging the spinner is not required. However, it is recommended that you engage the spinner to a very low output in order to prevent material buildup that could clog the chute. Engaging the spinner will also simulate a more real-time application. Tap on Start. Set your spinner output to a low value. A colleague should be able to verify that the spinner is turning without stalling from a safe distance. Increase your feeder output until your auger begins to turn and material begins dumping. A colleague should verify that the auger is moving from a very safe distance. It is okay to modify your feeder output during the test for closed loop systems. We recommend that you run the test at about 35 to 40 percent. Let the test run for at least one minute. The sensor pulses count should be continuously increasing as the material is being dispensed. Once you have a sufficient amount of material to be weighed, you can hit stop on your XDS. Now we will go over the open loop drop test. The open loop measured dump screen looks like this. Now when you hit start, your material will begin dumping at 100% auger speed. Tap on start. Engaging the spinner is not required. However, it is recommended that you engage it to a low output in order to prevent material buildup that could clog the chute. A colleague should be able to verify that the spinner is moving from a safe distance. Let the test run for at least a minute. The longer you let the measured dump run, the more accurate your calibration will be. Once you have a sufficient amount of material to be weighed, you can hit stop on your XDS. Weigh the material dump using your chosen weighing method. If you are using a bucket, shovel, and scale method, first, record the weight of the empty bucket. Then, shovel the material into the bucket and record that weight. Subtract the weight of the empty bucket from that of the full bucket. 
Multiply that value by the total number of buckets to get the total weight of the dispensed material. For the truck scale method, weigh the truck before and after the drop test. If you subtract the two values, you will get the total weight of the material dumped. Be consistent by not switching drivers during the test or adding any unnecessary weight during the process. If you are dumping the material into a forklift scale, you should be able to read the weight of the dumped material. Finally, we have to input the weight into the XDS. Once your material has been weighed, input that value in pounds into the text box on your XDS. The first thing you want to do is tap on this text box. Move your cursor using the left direction arrow to the appropriate number of digits. For example, if I weighed a total of 1,001 pounds, I will move the cursor to four digits and then input 1,001. Hit save. Your measured dump has now been successfully calibrated. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.